Welcome back folks, got another quick video for you here. This time I'm going to be having a look at the Rapala X-Rap Otis. Now I finally managed to be able to get my hands on one of these in the UK. It only just recently been released, it arrived the other day, so I've been quite looking forward to getting my hands on one, just to see what um, what the lure's like. Okay, so this one follows on from the X-Rap Pito. It's um, a curly tail version of it and it's a bit bigger and a little bit heavier. So this one is 25 centimeters in total length and it weighs 90 grams. Whereas the Pito was 20 centimeters in length and weighed 83 grams. I think the difference between the two lures as well is this one's sort of more of a sort of steady, sort of suspend, sort of slow sink. Whereas the Pito is more like a sort of bullet, it just goes straight down. Okay, so here is the information that was on the box. Okay, and this is the live perch pattern. Okay, now first impressions out of the box is exactly what you'd expect. It's very, very similar in terms of, sort of build quality to the X-Rap um, Pito. The only major difference is I think it's a different type of, you might be able to see how sticky that is. It's a different sort of silicon that they've used for the tail. Um, I don't know if you can see that there as well, that little white bit. That was actually stuck to the plastic inside the box. Um, so, it was a wee bit difficult to remove from the box, so I don't know how that will be, but it is pretty sticky. Um, but other than that, it's exactly as you'd expect from the palette. It's, I think this will do really well, especially in winter with a curly tail. When the water's really cold, you can get a really slow retrieve, and this will give you a great action. Um, so, looking forward to trying that out. Again, the tail system is exactly the same. You can just remove the hook, the split ring. This will pop off, and... You just put the hook back on with your fresh tail and same as the pito you get a spare tail yeah as the spare tail um just pop that there so yeah there's not really too much else to say about it um one thing that might be interesting to some people is the difference if it's in a side by side sort of comparison so if i put this one here and then i bring in the extra pito there is the difference okay so if i just hold them both up you might be able to get a wee idea of the sort of differences between the two lures um, in terms of sort of length. And, oops, so I just pop them side by side to like see them. Uh, so the main difference, like I say, is the curly tail. I think that's where the extra length is coming from. Uh, the profiles are much the same. Still get the same ultra sharp hooks. So I hook my finger with them. Um, but yeah, good lure. Looking forward to trying it out. One thing I would maybe advise, and I've said this, I've got a previous video where I've mentioned this. These hook, these lures are really, really heavy duty. The hooks are incredibly strong. They're VMC uh, black coastals, and the split rings. I'm not quite sure of the weighting on them, but they are really, really heavy duty. So maybe what I would advise is if you don't want to lose your lure change the split rings, maybe go for maybe perhaps eagle claw hooks. I know a lot of people do them on things like squirrely butts and things like that because they're quite expensive. This lure retails at about the same price as the Pito. I think I paid about £18 for this one. Um, but I think you can get them if you shop about, you might get them cheaper. But I think because it is a new lure and it's literally just been released, um, they'll all probably be about, about that price. Um, this is sort of part one of two. I do plan on doing a sort of vlog style where I take both of them out and put them up against each other just to see which one's um, more successful. Um, and maybe when you look at it actually in that angle, the, the x Apotis is just ever so slightly bigger. But not not massively, but it is ever slightly bigger. Um, finish on it, as you'd expect, is incredible. Really, really good quality. Really nice fin details, really nice scale pattern on it. Um, so yeah, I think this will be another really, really good lure from the pal, so I look forward to trying it. Hopefully I'll get the next video uploaded soon once I get out, a chance to actually get out and get them fished side by side. Uh, and hopefully we'll see see some differences between the two on the water. All right, so as ever, if you get any questions or anything, please feel free to put them in the comments box or any, any um, feedback and any comments. I'd be happy to accept any of that. And um, also, if you like what you see, please subscribe and i'll hopefully see you soon also if you want to know a bit more about the x rap pito there is a video in my on my channel about this one which is a bit more in depth all right so until next time i'll see you soon